Are you struggling with wrist pain that just won't go away? Maybe your wrist feels weak, unstable, or even gives out when you try to grip something. If that sounds familiar, you might be dealing with a wrist ligament injury, and ignoring it could lead to long-term damage. Let's talk about why wrist instability matters and how you can heal naturally without surgery. Hello, this is Dr. Siddharth Damber from Chicago Arthritis and Regenerative Medicine. I specialize in non-surgical treatments for musculoskeletal conditions, rheumatology, regenerative medicine, and metabolic health. My goal is to help you live pain-free and optimize your health with cutting edge treatments. Your wrist is a complex joint made up of multiple small bones held together by ligaments. These ligaments are essential for stability, allowing your wrist to move smoothly without pain. But when they get stretched, torn, or injured, your wrist can become unstable, leading to chronic pain, weakness, and even arthritis over time. Today, we're breaking down why wrist ligament injuries happen, how instability affects your function, and the best ways to heal without surgery. So let's dive in. What causes wrist ligament injuries? Wrist ligament injuries can happen suddenly or develop over time. Some common causes include the following. Falls and trauma. Landing on an outstretched hand can overstretch or tear the ligaments. Repetitive strain. Activities like typing, weightlifting, or racket sports can slowly weaken the ligaments over time. Joint hypermobility. Some people naturally have looser ligaments, making them more prone to instability. Aging and wear and tear. As we get older, our ligaments lose elasticity and become more vulnerable to injury. Many people assume wrist pain is just a minor sprain, but ignoring ligament injuries can lead to long-term problems. So why is wrist instability a big deal? If your wrist ligaments aren't doing their job, your wrist bones can shift out of alignment. This in turn can cause a number of problems. It can cause pain and weakness. Your grip strength decreases, making everyday tasks harder. You may get clicking or popping sensations. That can be a sign that the bones aren't staying precisely in place. It can also lead to early arthritis. Unstable joints wear down cartilage faster, leading to joint damage. The key takeaways here are if your wrist feels loose or weak, don't ignore it. Addressing instability early can prevent bigger problems later on. Many people think surgery is the only solution for ligament injuries, but that's not always true. The right non-surgical treatments can strengthen your wrist and restore stability. Here's how. Strengthening exercises. Gentle exercises can help rebuild strength and stability in your wrist. You'd like to try some of the following. Wrist isometric exercises. You basically press your hand against a wall or resistance band without moving your wrist. It causes tension and overall strengthening of the tendons and sometimes ligaments as well. Grip strengthening. You use a stress ball or hand gripper to build muscle support. Wrist extensions and flexions using a light dumbbell to improve mobility control. I would be careful with this last one. You want to make sure that you have good stability before you move to something that's more stressful to the wrist. The overall key is consistency. Small improvements add up over time. Also, working with a good physical therapist or hand therapist can be essential in this regard. PRP and prolotherapy are regenerative treatments that can also be very helpful. If your ligaments are stretched or weakened, a regenerative medicine treatment like PRP, platelet-rich plasma, or prolotherapy can help to strengthen those tissues. PRP, or platelet-rich plasma, uses your body's own blood healing factors to stimulate ligament repair. Prolotherapy is where we use a solution of dextrose that is injected in the ligaments to trigger natural healing and tightening. These treatments promote real healing instead of masking pain, helping to restore long-term stability. There are also lifestyle modifications that can help support healing. Try to avoid overuse. If your wrist hurts, Give it time to rest and heal. Optimize nutrition. Supplements like collagen, vitamin C, and omega-3s can help support ligament health. Also improve your posture and ergonomics. Proper wrist 
positioning can prevent further strain. There are some common myths and misconceptions. Let's clear some of them up. Myth number one when it comes to wrist injuries. A little wrist pain is normal. I can just push through it. The fact is that if you have pain, it's your body's way of signaling that you have a problem. Ignoring it can lead to chronic instability. Myth number two, bracing my wrist all the time will help it heal. Fact is that while bracing helps short term in terms of support, over-reliance on bracing can weaken the muscles that support the wrist long term. Myth number three, surgery is the only way to fix wrist ligament injuries. The fact is that many injuries, many ligament injuries heal with regenerative medicine, physical therapy, and strengthening exercises without surgery. Overall key takeaways here are wrist ligament injuries can lead to instability, weakness, and arthritis if left untreated. Strengthening exercises, regenerative medicine treatments like PRP and prolotherapy, and lifestyle changes can help heal naturally. And ignoring wrist pain can make things worse. Early intervention is the key to avoiding long-term damage. If you found this helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and check out our website at chicagoarthritis.com for more expert advice on staying pain-free and living healthy. If you're dealing with wrist instability and want a personalized treatment plan, reach out to our office. See you next time and live well.